again. Um, I just am making this video because I want to tell you about how I got into coding and also some of the stuff you can do with coding, um, like jobs for when you guys are older. Um, so as I said before, um, I am at Carroll University. Um, I came into Carroll to study math because I love math, so I wanted to find some majors that had math. Um, but for my major, I had to take one computer science class that I did not want to take. Um, I thought it would be kind of hard, kind of boring. Um, I, I just didn't think I'd be interested in it. Um, I thought it was just something that was not for me, uh, for other people, but not for me. Uh, but I had to take the class, so I walked in and I took a whole semester of it. So for four whole months, I took the class and I actually ended up really liking it. Um, computer science was nothing what I thought it was going to be like. It was uh, so much like problem solving and trying to solve a puzzle. Um, so, so many of our assignments, we went in and we got, we got a few sentences on what to do. And then we just got to figure out the problem. It was, it was like a big riddle, a big puzzle. And that's why I liked computer science. And I decided that I want to take a lot more computer science classes. Um, and it is just, I thought it was just like math. It's just like solving a problem. Um, it's just a bunch of little problems. Um, so I get to find out how to get to, from point A to point B, and then I get to run these programs that do really cool things, like some are like calculators, I can um, code like games, um, just, just some awesome stuff that I had no idea that's what coding did. Um, and then also with coding, there's so many different opportunities you can do uh, when you grow up. <laughs> um, you can work for so many different companies. Um, so places like grocery stores even. Um, when you look at a grocery store, I, originally I, I wouldn't think there would be anything you would do coding, but if you look at the cash registers and like the online, like um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like, um, like a website, like maybe like Target or Walmart or any of those websites um, to get groceries or if your parents got groceries on there. Um, those all had to be coded. All the cash registers had to be coded. All the, I don't know if you've ever seen those, like um, those phones that'll like scan the barcode um, to find products. All those had to be coded. Um, so Target probably has a lot of coders, which is pretty awesome. Um, and Walmart probably has a ton of coders and any, almost any store you can think of has to have some sort of coding for their website or for their different systems in the store. Um, also stuff like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those like vacuums that like go around, um, they like, they're like these circles. Um, sometimes I think they're called Roombas. But what you do is you, um, you like tell it where, how much you want it to vacuum and then you just turn it on and it'll go out and vacuum your um, whole house and what it does. So no one has to push a vacuum, but it just goes around and vacuums and those things are coded so that they don't like run into the furniture. So they have to like know when to stop before the furniture and that is all coding. And that's a lot of what we're doing today. It's like knowing when to move forward, knowing when to move sideways, knowing when to move backwards um, and all that. Um, also something that uh, needs a lot of coders is all the social media websites. So I don't know if you guys know of like um, Snapchat and Instagram and TikTok. TikTok needed a lot of coders um, to just run the platform and make it so it looks like what it does. Um, it would if there weren't coders, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. It, there's so much you don't see. You only see the front of it, but there's so much behind the scenes um, that you don't see. So. Also, another other companies that need a ton of coders are like Google and Microsoft and Apple and um, all of all of the phones um, have been coded and they need um, computer science majors. Um, so that is why uh, those are so many different opportunities you could different companies you could work for if you became a coder. Um, 
ever, almost every place needs a coder, so there's plenty to do with it. And there's no shortage there. <laughs> but also, I have a password for you guys. Um, and the password is run. Um, I know before in a video I talked about what run meant. It's uh, what you have to press to um, run all your commands. So the password is run. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but run is the password. 